Imagine an entire building or even a city block floating across the ocean. Sounds crazy? Not for this monster. This is the Mega Barge, a floating beast engineered to move the impossible. While cargo ships, tankers and container vessels get most of the attention, mega-sized barges are the true unsung giants of maritime engineering. Designed not to carry containers or oil, but to transport entire buildings, foil platforms, bridges and even warships, these floating platforms are changing how we think about logistics on a global scale. In today's video, we'll go inside the world of the largest barges ever built, exploring how they work, what they carry, and the jaw-dropping scale of their missions. A mega barge isn't your average floating platform. These giants can stretch over 300 meters long with decks wider than a football field and are capable of carrying up to 100,000 tons of cargo in a single trip. But what makes them special isn't just size, it's versatility. Unlike traditional ships, many mega barges have flat open decks, allowing them to carry objects that don't fit in containers, like offshore drilling rigs, modular buildings, or even entire sections of nuclear power plants. Moving something as heavy as a small town isn't easy. These barges require precise balance, structural strength, and often tugboat coordination across long distances. Many of them use ballast tanks, massive chambers that can be filled with water to adjust the barge's balance, angle, and depth. And some, like the Dockwise Vanguard, use a process called semi-submersion, lowering part of the barge below the waterline to let structures float onto the deck. Then they rise back up, lifting the cargo out of the water. This is what makes moving floating cities, or city-sized platforms, actually possible. So what do these floating beasts actually carry? Entire offshore oil platforms built on land, then floated to sea. Massive modular buildings for remote locations. Floating dry docks carrying other ships. Even decommissioned aircraft carriers or naval destroyers. One of the most famous examples, the Dockwise Vanguard transporting the Chevron Jack St. Malo oil platform, weighing over 53,000 tons. A journey of nearly 9,000 kilometers across open ocean. So why build these instead of traditional cargo ships? Because not everything fits in a box. When you're dealing with pre-built infrastructure, time-sensitive missions or ultra-heavy loads, you can't assemble it at sea. With mega barges, you can. Build entire projects on land, where it's safer and cheaper. Transport them as one unit and install them quickly on site, whether in the Arctic, the middle of the ocean, or remote island nations. It's faster, more efficient and more adaptable, and it's transforming how we build things globally. Still with us? If you're into engineering marvels, maritime monsters and the machines that quietly power our modern world, hit that subscribe button. Every week we dive deep into the biggest, boldest machines on Earth, and sometimes the ocean. From offshore oil rigs to city-sized modules, mega-sized barges are the invisible movers of civilization. They may not be flashy, they don't go fast, but they carry the future, literally. As we build larger, more complex infrastructure around the world, from floating wind farms to offshore data centers, these giants of the sea will only become more essential. This is more than transportation, it's logistics on a planetary scale. The ocean, vast and ancient, holds secrets the land will never understand. But among its waves, beneath the weight of wind and salt, a new kind of monster sails silently. The Mega Barge. It has no sails or masts. It carries no tourists or passengers. Its purpose is not to travel, but to move the world itself. Every one of its movements reconfigures the map of modern engineering, and every load it transports redefines what we believe possible. Where the horizon seems infinite, the silhouette of the giant emerges. Its deck is so expansive it could hold an entire stadium. From the air, it resembles an island that has broken free from the continent, a man-made fragment of Earth drifting slowly toward its destination. Yet beneath that apparent calm, its structure hums with mathematical precision. Thousands of tons of steel work in unison, maintaining balance in seas that forgive no mistakes. The sound of metal expanding under the sun blends with the creak of ocean swells. The wind carries the scent of fuel, salt, and distance. Everything aboard the Mega Barge is designed for a single purpose, to bear the unimaginable. There are no luxuries or distractions, only the cold exactness of function. Pressure pipes, compensation valves, 
and leveling systems calculate in real time the weight of an entire city. This is engineering in its purest form, stripped of all artifice. These colossi confront one of the greatest physical challenges that exist, gravity and the sea. A slight imbalance, an imprecise weight distribution, and the monster could tilt, lose stability, and become wreckage. That's why every operation is a dance measured in millimeters. When loading a structure, the mega barge slowly sinks into the water, submerging itself in a controlled descent until the ocean covers its deck. Then, the cargo, whether a naval vessel, an oil platform, or a floating power plant, slides onto its surface like a beached whale. Giant pumps then expel water from its ballast tanks, lifting the vessel once more and raising its treasure with it. Thus, the sea surrenders what it once held. During these maneuvers, silence is absolute. Only the distant roar of the wind and the murmur of pumps break the air. Engineers watch from afar, knowing each movement represents millions of dollars, years of planning, and the very edge of human risk. But once the load is secured, the monster begins its march. Slow, almost solemn, it advances at less than 20 kilometers per hour, but with a weight that defies logic. It needs no speed, its power lies in patience. The routes these titans follow span entire oceans. Some travel from shipyards in Korea to oil fields in the Gulf of Mexico, others from Norway to the coasts of Brazil. Along the way, they face storms, swells, and currents that would sink conventional ships. But they are no ordinary vessels. They are mobile platforms that defy physics with the calm assurance of something built to endure. At night, megabarges transform into floating cities of light. Orange floodlights illuminate their edges, casting a glow that reflects on the water like liquid fire. In the middle of the ocean, that light becomes a beacon of modern engineering, a reminder that humanity has learned not only to master the sea, but to build upon it. With the rise of floating infrastructure, megabarges are entering a new era. They no longer carry only oil platforms. Now they transport residential modules, oceanic research labs, energy hubs, and even pre-assembled sections of data centers. Some experimental designs have begun testing the idea of relocating entire segments of coastal cities vulnerable to climate change. In a world where sea levels rise and shorelines retreat, these giants could become the silent saviors of whole communities. Yet behind the majesty of steel and engineering lies a deeper reflection. The Mega Barge embodies humanity's capacity to reshape the Earth, to build what nature never imagined. But it also raises a question. To what extent should we move the world, rather than learn to live within it? Each voyage is a metaphor for our age, the transportation of the impossible, the pursuit of efficiency on an increasingly saturated planet. Where structures were once disassembled piece by piece, they are now moved whole, as if the ocean itself were a liquid highway. From oil rigs to offshore wind farms, everything can travel, everything can float. Engineers call this phenomenon migratory architecture. It means the physical world is no longer static. A factory, a building, or even a scientific base can now drift across the seas, guided by the ocean itself. And behind every one of these migrations, a mega barge waits, ready to lift cities and place them wherever the future demands. But moving a city is not just a matter of weight, it is a matter of purpose. Each cargo tells a different story, a power plant that will energize millions of homes, a research module seeking deep sea life, a military structure crossing continents undetected. Mega barges are the silent narrators of a world in motion, bearers of progress and of profound questions. Imagine seeing one approach from the distance, a metallic mass so vast it confuses the eye. The sea curves around it. Waves seem to bow. Its bow cuts through water effortlessly leaving a wake large enough to swallow smaller ships. On its deck, containers, cranes, and titanic structures rest motionless, as if gravity itself obeys human command. And as it advances, the sound of the sea changes. It is as if the ocean recognizes its presence. The impact of these colossi extends far beyond maritime industry. They are beginning to transform how we conceive global construction. Thanks to them, megastructures can be built on land, with safety, precision, and lower cost, and then transported ready-made to sea. We no longer build at the destination, we build at the optimal point. The result? Faster projects, fewer risks, and a new understanding of planetary scale engineering. Yet with every advance comes a new challenge. The growing number of these floating platforms demands wider shipping lanes, adapted ports, and international coordination that transcends borders. 
A single error in planning a journey spanning thousands of kilometers could endanger entire ecosystems or cause blockages akin to those that once paralyzed global trade. In this balance between efficiency and risk, the megabarge becomes a symbol of our era, the promise of progress and the price of control. In the near future, megabarges are expected to take part in even more ambitious projects, transporting space modules, floating rocket launch stations, and even entire sections of artificial offshore cities. Some companies are already experimenting with platforms capable of linking together to form mobile archipelagos that can shift position according to weather or ocean currents. It is the vision of a world where civilization literally floats upon the sea. And as that vision expands, mega barges will remain the foundation of this new reality, invisible to most, essential to all. No one applauds when they arrive. There are no ceremonies or headlines, but without them, humanity's greatest feats would remain stranded on dry land. The ocean is their domain, and the future, their cargo. For these giants carry not only steel and concrete, they carry ambition. In their slow advance lies something hypnotic, something reminiscent of glaciers moving over centuries, reshaping the planet's geography unnoticed until the landscape has utterly changed. This is how mega barges operate, discreet, relentless, inevitable, and perhaps that is their greatest power. While the world looks to the sky, seeking the future in rockets and stars, they move it from below, upon the water, without a sound. Every time a new industrial or scientific project appears on a remote island or a platform in the middle of the ocean, a mega barge stands behind it, bearing the weight of progress. When the sun sets and navigation lights flicker across the surface, the mega barge becomes a shadow drifting slowly between night and horizon. Its reflection ripples on the water like a mechanical ghost. And though few may see it, we all depend on its journey. For without these colossi, the modern world would not move. They are the true mobile foundations of our civilization. And as long as they keep sailing, the planet will continue to transform piece by piece, city by city, propelled by the silent force of the giants that carry the future.